shattered role models as role models go. I'm probably one of the worst role models in the world for a child to grow up with. In reality, with the way the laws work. The way laws of Did you have your the way laws of humankind Did you have your kids intentionally? That'd be a I weird. Had my son intentionally. That'd be a weird thing to like. You're growing your so up. Weird to grow. Yeah. You're t- you know what's weird? Is you're like, you know what, son? I didn't mean to have you. But everybody. But everybody. It's just a really <laughs> weird thing, dude. That I'll, I'll never know that feeling. I purposely had a kid. Yeah. But it's like, can you can you look into your son's eyes and be like, I can remember when I was screwing your mom, and I just like. Really put it forth that I didn't give a shit. I don't know, it's just a weird thing. Like, you really had to place the order. F- I really wasn't serious about placing the order in your mom. Yes, I get weird. Yeah. Placing the order in your mom. I think a lot of. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people just wind like up. ordering a pizza. Did you really want it or did you just get wound up with it? I get what you're saying now. Like, is it, it's like ordering a pizza. It's like, it's like, did you really want it, or is it just what shows up at your door? That's so the way women are. That's why you see all these, like, fucking relationships with, like, these people, and you're just like, oh, my God, how could they do Get roped or... in. <laughs> you know, the whole thing is and fucking it's really weird. It's happening to me, probably, in some weird way. It's like, how do these people all end up like this? <laughs> I don't think the rest of the world like they're crazy. <laughs> like out of these people, I really don't fit in, dude. I how just don't fit in? No, dude, how do we wind up in these? Dude, the reality that we actually live in, I don't fit in, like in society. Just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, the dude. way I really am, <laughs> the way I really am, society does not. Yeah, dude. It frowns on. People really need to start coming forth. Yeah. <laughs> People can't even be who they really are without getting thrown into a cell. Yeah, that's weird, man. That's so weird. <laughs> Somebody literally tells you that if you act the way you want to act, that you're just going to get thrown in jail. Well, no, it's like that you're a tool. If you were spent a significant time... It's not your hours, choice really what you gay. put in your own body anymore. It's ours. I've had to do, like, work release before. Do you know how fucking gay that is? That's to go fucking... Every single fucking day. Every day. Leave the jail in the morning. And every day. With a GPS wrapped around your waist. Every day. Wake up in the morning. And every day I had to go back to jail at night. And I just would work. Yeah, <laughs> they just like work me to death. <laughs> How the fuck do we wind up in these like? They used my body. They used like the my biological part of my body for whatever they could. <laughs> like a huge machine. I'm just like this. A There's cog. definitely something really fucking weird <laughs> about being alive, dude. I feel like a cog. That's so. That's so. I'm sitting here looking at your fucking picture here. That's, just, <laughs> that's exactly the way I feel. Like I drew it out in that yeah. picture. Yeah. <laughs> you should really look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about that picture where people yeah. are throwing saw blades at each other? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that picture was still around. I wanted more. <laughs> you actually did that. <laughs> Dude, the time that it took for you to actually draw that too. The time, like the, I think mean, that's what makes this so funny is that, like, I know that this had to have taken you a long time to make. They're just like sitting there, like. No, Pac had a friend that really came apart <laughs> when he saw this. Just like falling backwards, pointing and laughing at this shit. <laughs> Pac's friend, I don't know his name. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Cause I didn't have. My brain almost can't even handle how funny this is. That I have you ever drop. had that feeling before where it feels like your brain's gonna explode because it's something's too funny? 
Like, how could I... ever happen to you? How could I fucking draw this? Like, how could I face drawing it? It's so weird to actually sit here and look at this actual picture. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the saw blade off. <laughs> People just getting the everyone just getting the basketball court. We're gonna give you some sob. <laughs> you just throw them at each other as hard as you can. Oh my god, dude! What a fucking horrible thing to go through. It's like fucking looting thing. Bunch of looting things actually like with referees. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. Oh man. It's probably be it's probably something that's been done somewhere. The saw blade. Yeah. <laughs> Back had a friend. He said he just like turned like that in like fell yeah. backwards. <laughs> Back got a spruce when I had this on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. You know, like how? Really weird how could I draw that without like? I've never been able. To I just wanted to explain this picture. That my friend was laughing about yesterday, called Sawblade Whip Off that I drew. They take prison inmates that have life sentences, and they give them the option to uh, play dodgeball with razor sharp saw blades in a racquetball court. These yellow lines being they can't pass, they can't step foot across the yellow lines, or one of the refs on. This side or down here, because the refs are right here pointing, shoot you if you're over the line for more than three seconds. And you're going to have seven people in the racquetball court at a time. Uh, and you get seven razor sharp saw blades, and on the sidelines, you can tag out with up to four people if you're too injured to continue. Um, and you can tag somebody in, but the other side, the side wins that when the other side is either too injured to continue or dead. Uh, and then there's, they get set free. <laughs> pretty crazy world, but it's already a pretty crazy world we live in. So at least you could get some like serious entertainment out of it. You film it and put it on TV. I know I'd watch this. Prison mates throwing razor sharp saw blades at each other. The only thing I for forgot to draw is that they should have special gloves on so they can throw the saw blades without cutting themselves. Maybe I'll redraw this one day. This guy's throwing saw blades at this guy right here, crawling off, trying to tag in with this guy right here. As soon as they may touch hands and this guy pulls this guy back behind the glass, this guy can come in. This guy's trying to tag out with this guy right here. He has to stand behind this line. This guy's waiting for someone to tag it. Someone to get injured, but I guess this guy right here would probably be dead. <laughs> and this guy's being hit right in the back. And my friend saw this. I'd, I'd forgotten about this picture, actually, because it's like behind something, behind a TV. But he was laughing his fucking ass off at this. And maybe I'll redraw it. I kind of, it's kind of, uh, kind of rough of a sketch. I know I could do it better. But it did take a while to draw it. Shit, I just, this stuff's really taking me apart bad. I feel like I've been on, like, a journey already. Maybe it's only me born. It has been a journey already, dude. It's, it's like a journey through your own mind. <laughs> what the fuck? That is so fucking weird, dude. You have to go journeying through your own mind. I have to, like, like this. upkeep every day for my, for my own brain to feel the way it's supposed to feel. I have to pay upkeep on a daily basis. That's so weird to think that everybody's like that. Everybody wakes up in the morning, whatever that is, whatever whatever waking up in the morning is, and they have like this all these different things that are getting in the way of them doing what they really want to do. But we're like, it's so weird that like, 
we can't record like what's actually going on in our brain. I know. And that's, and then we like forget, you know. Then we go back. It's like it's like this is like a taste of reality, and then we're like sucked back into like this like watching like uh right in front of my eyes. I could see like my whole life. How come you've never wanted to meet the dancing apparitions? Do you have like a specific reason for that? Probably never come back. Have you seen them before? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What the fuck is that shit, dude? There's like something already here that's like cloaked. <laughs> All around us right now, dude. I know, man. I, I've totally seen that before. I've been like, I remember like laying in bed, like. You take Tepentadol and Benadryl and Diphenhydrinate. You see those fucking things, dude. It uncloaks them. Hell, oh, they look like. They are fucking really frightening looking, dude. I can I can actually see what like religion and all that shit like d with demons and stuff. I think those things actually are fucking demons, dude. They, I had some really terrible experiences like that too. Like there really fucking are demons around us, dude. Like at all times. I've had some really terrible experiences where I believe you. I feel like that's true. It's absolutely, completely, and 100% yeah, like, true. I'm like killing myself every day by smoking. Like. I can't believe I do that. Knowingly. It's like throwing my life away. The only people who've ever been I'm willing mentally to. mentally ill, I think. The only people who've ever been willing to. Let me dose them and see these things, or Lee and Timmy. I've probably laid it down for everyone else. Like, I wanted to show them the, these fucking things in pitch dark. Nobody's willing to see them. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, dude. In pitch real, dark? Yeah, real fucking demons, dude. They're really there. I don't want... I... Yeah, I don't know... I, well, it's just weird to know, dude. I agree. Because... There's always something there. Dude, yeah, it never occurred to me. It never really, really occurred to me, dude. That there was, like, a lot of, like... Like, more serious, deep, like, belief and, like... I could see what religion is and all that shit. But it's because there's physically something, like... In the world... Like, there's fucking, like, demons or something, dude. Like, they really do exist. They're just... I don't know what they are. They're terrifying looking. And I... And I... Do a lot of, like... I reach my hand out toward them, and I can feel them interacting with my fingertips. We're definitely aware of each other. And they never go away, dude. They follow me around wherever I go. I know what you're talking about. I just get this weirdest feeling they're waiting for me to die. <laughs> Actually, I know that's what's going on. It's a really fucking terrible feeling. Yeah, dude. It's like, wait, did I do something? <laughs> am I like actually being judged here or did these things just find me dude it's just so fucking weird where I am on all of this the idea of actually being judged for your actions well no dude that I'm actually like when I take to Benadryl and to Pentadol different hydronate I wish I'd have recorded the times that me and Lee did this. He came over, like, there was two times we did this for, like, an hour. 
interacting with them. You just don't want to do that, huh? No, we can't. All right. I would actually like to see what it's like with the, no lights in here. I really as do far think as that, I know, Ellis I really do think that I'm mentally ill, though, because I feel like no matter, I feel like on, uh, on a daily basis, I, I, I like, I, I feel like I'm trying to, kill, it's like almost like my body's trying to kill itself. What the fuck it is mentally ill, dude? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird like. I smoke and drink like every day, and my wife's like completely different. She's completely different. She's like a health nut. Yeah, dude. I see what you're saying, though. How could you be married to somebody who's, like... Well, and the same for her, though. I'm, like, sitting here thinking about, like... How did you guys wind up married? <laughs> did you just, like, jump into it? Yeah. Whoa. I could never get married. That always seemed like such a... Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, sex is good and it's it's great, but it's like, I see it more as like going to see the movies. It's... I know that's the way you always... It doesn't last forever and it's more like a spa spontaneous thing. Like me and you hanging out right now. I wish most people saw it that way because that's the way it really is. But people get... People have actual situations where they need to like survive though. Yeah, I know. So, like, I think about all the bullshit I've had to do my whole life just, just to live. Like, I can think back. And it's just, it's this, weird to think that... All these shitty jobs I've had to do. Like, where the fuck is all this going, dude? Obviously not very well. No, I mean, like, where does all of this lead, dude? Uh, like... I know. You ever wonder where your life is gonna end? Yeah. I do. Often, actually. Yeah, it's like... I don't, I don't see anything good. This whole thing is just like trying to choreograph your death. <laughs> yeah. That's all life is, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fucking weird. It's really weird to think of it like that, but yeah, the chore choreographing our death. Yeah. Dude, but like, what is death? That's like really what it is, what you're doing, though. I think that's so crazy that like you actually, I could be looking at you right now. Death is like right around the corner, dude. At any second, but... At all. I've been around for almost 40 years, dude. It's, how could I not have died already? All the stuff that I've been not through? existed? Dude, I've just... Somehow the universe has been around for 14 billion years, but somehow we're all of a sudden just getting created. That's so weird to think about. I can't believe I busted my head in jail, dude, and I survived that. I can't believe you did that either. That's like, cannot happen and would not happen. You should have seen the, you should have, I can't believe nobody took a picture. Jesus, dude, I touched the, uh, the staples on your head. Yeah. I came by your house and saw you, you don't remember? You don't remember that? Uh-uh. Dude, you're... It There's like, probably a lot I don't remember, though. It looked like somebody, like, stapled, like, half your head together. Dude, I'm, I'm, I was really surprised to see that you came out of that. can't believe you survived that, actually. I know, that's what everyone says. <laughs> Why the fuck am I even able to, like... Move. Yeah. Somehow the... Me is still able to incarnate the... I can't believe you did that. You actually made the conscious choice to walk out on a ledge and jump completely on your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like swan dive on your skull. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I actually fucking did that. <laughs> Sounded like a good idea. Sounded like a good idea at the time. I think it really was. That was the best thing that ever happened to you. Yeah, dude, I didn't regret it. That was the best thing that ever happened to you, because think about it. 
You could be living this life right now, and if you didn't I looked do that, death I'd... right in the eyes. I looked death right in the eyes, dude, and I just said, "Fuck you, you I'm going." You could be spending the rest of your life in prison too. Yeah. That'd be really terrible. Have you ever seen like a prison documentary? No, it's weird, dude. Like, don't you don't care at all, dude. After I, you know, you don't care at all. After you think you've died. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird, dude. Like, it's, what the fuck? I, I swear I died. I swear I've died, dude. It's so weird. How the fuck can I still... Back. Yeah, dude, it's like, how the fuck can I still be here? Dude, I can't... <laughs> Didn't you say, like, the cops, like, made him? I'm not sure there really is here? such a thing as actually dying. It's just something that, like, appears to be something that can happen. I'm really not sure that, that you can actually die, dude. Because I've really put it to the test. <laughs> and it just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's fucking weird, dude. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like you just actually can't die. Yeah. It's fucking weird, dude, but, like, I seriously don't think there's actually such a thing. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but it's the idea that... <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I died in whatever dimension I was in that I jumped in jail. But I'm fucking still here somehow. It's, like, not... It, it like, can't be happening, dude. Dude, I can't even imagine what you went through after you did that. Can you imagine, like, what, like, all that bullshit was you had to go through with, like, the police? Can you imagine how you worked your way through that? I really can't even begin to imagine that. How are you even sitting here with me right now? Yeah, that was a really weird experience, man. Dude, they really just, they generally, like... That I was actually even brought back to life. I know. Well, it's like, what the fuck is life, the dude? The government like, was afraid they were, they were afraid they were going to get sued, right? The, the jail. So that's... Yeah. I can imagine them actually actually acting that way, I guess, but... I can't believe you actually jumped on your head. Hey, what the fuck am I still doing around? You just like, you like, just die. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like a weird thing. It's a really weird feeling, I can imagine. Dude, like, I can't Richard, have... Richard, dude, probably, I, I truly... anyone who shoots themselves, probably dreaming that they lived on and on. Like, they're probably having their own, like, like, Actual other dimension, dude. Like it's weird. Just I don't feel like I, I feel. I feel like people can't be destroyed. Yeah. Because I've seriously put that to the test, and I wasn't destroyed. Well, like, don't you think like the idea of consciousness is really disturbing to me? Because it's like I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, but I would never do like it how, again. There's like a. I imagine like a little like a. Uh, like a little like a uh, orb of like light around like each. I imagine people are just kind of like a computer program. Yeah, dude, just a biological antenna. That's really what they are. Somehow. It's really weird that it's really weird that. This is actually, Your body doesn't produce. We're starting all... to. They talk about that. Some scientists do. Is there so much your body doesn't like act give you access to? Yeah. There's just a lot more shit in the in the um, to be brought in from the outside world than there is inside of you. Apparently. It's so weird to think that there's like all this other bullshit that's required for my consciousness to be around. Like all 
this other bullshit I have to do on a daily basis just for my <laughs> consciousness just to, like, actually be there. I have to, like... I, I have to, like... I live in, like, a 